Hey guys, Coach D here again. Today we're going to cover stationary lunges. We're going to do two variations here. So we're going to do one that's primarily working your quads and another one that's primarily working your butt here. So Brian's here. He's going to have his third guest appearance this week on us. And so let's cover it with you guys. So first thing we're going to have him do, we're going to have Brian put his left leg down on the mat here. This is really important for both variations if you ever do a lunge anywhere. We want to make sure that our body's upright. So we want our shoulders, our hips, in our knee to be in one line when we do this lunge here. So if you get a little bit, if we get Brian leaning forward like this, that's gonna put more stress in his low back and we're not gonna get as much work out of what we want in this exercise here. So going over our glutes first. So with your glutes, we wanna take our leg and bring it a little bit further out. This is gonna make sure that his butt here on the right side is working. If we wanna work the butt on the left side, all we do is switch legs here. Now, if you find it troubling to stand up in this exercise and balance yourself, you can hold on to a bar in front of you, you can hold on to a rail beside you, or in this case, Brian's gonna hold on to me to help him stay upright as he does the motion. So I'm gonna stand in front of Brian, he's gonna grab me here, and what we're gonna have Brian do, drive him through his big toe, little toe and heel, and stand straight up. Okay, now a big thing to think about with faults here, if you start drifting backwards, we want to work on making sure we get the weight on the front leg here. So Brian's going to go back down here. And he's going to come up and he's going to try to shoot forward. Boom, just like that. He's going to go back down. Now let's say we want to add a step in here. So what Brian's going to do, same concept, driving his foot down with the right foot. He's going to step forward just like that. And then extend his leg back and go right back down. Now this is all for the glutes. Now let's say you want to target your quads. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have Brian move his foot closer. A good idea is to think about your opposite knee and that heel being in that alignment. Now one thing to note, if your heel on the foot that you're stepping on is off the ground, you are too close. So you want to make sure you have heel contact with the ground. So our three points on the leg that we're utilizing, heel, big toe, and little toe. So Brian still has some heel contact. We're gonna move him a little bit further forward to make sure he gets a little bit more. Sometimes you might need to do this without your shoe to kind of feel that difference. Now, this is gonna be harder because it is targeting the quad, but we still want the same thing. Shoulder, hip, knee. Line it straight down. So I'm gonna get Brian my arms. He's gonna stand up. Boom, perfect. He's gonna go right back down. We're gonna add the step forward. Boom, and then we're gonna go back, step back. Cool. How'd that feel, Brian? Right here. Now, if you're wondering about knee placement being over your toe, that's okay. That's not a problem. Now, if you have knee issues, if you have any type of uh, replacement thing here where you've had your knee replaced, then you might not choose this exercise for you. You might choose another exercise that's easier for your knee joint to handle. So that just depends on the person and what your knee is like. If you have healthy knees, this is going to be a perfectly fine exercise for you. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Take care.